In uh, this video, I'll be making these uh, do-it-yourself Tesla jack pad here uh, with these uh, stoppers here. I found it on this YouTube by Doug. He showed all the steps, so I'll put a link on his uh, original video. But here's my attempt. Um, get some washers. Here's the parts. Well, I'll list all the parts in the description. But um, let me uh, make it and go from there. All right, I will attempt to uh, do it all on camera for you guys. I'll use this bit here. You can uh, print out your own little circle, and uh, so you help mark the center. And this is also on the link from Doug, and it's, this is what it looks like. So there is a uh, labeling here. So if you're you want it, I guess this would be the top. So the label. So I would drill from the bottom. So put like this more or less try to get it center I just use a screw and I just twist like so and that will mark the center this is roughly three inches so your center is going to be about one and a half and roughly uh, everything will be upside down for you guys but it's about one and a half more or less I will do everything inside the box to contain the mess so, alright I'm getting a little bit better at it seeing that I made <laughs> I made three so far, but each time I, I'm making it, I see, um, you know, you gain some experience. So this is the summary of how to do it. So center it, point closest possible. More or less, you're gonna be off a little bit. Cause no, it's not scientific here. And we are gonna drill it. until it flush with the bit. Almost. It's not flush. Reverse. Notice how there's a little center point right there for you. Now from that side, drill straight through on the other side. So, a uh, 1364 bit. Alright. Center about there. Drill down. I'll do the other side real quick. See, it's pretty center. Final. Get one of your stopper. Get your one inch and a quarter along with a little uh, nut. Drill in here first. Do, do like this first until it starts peeking out on the other side. That will, will be used as your guide. Uh -huh. Alright, see it? Sticking out a little bit. That will help you align like so. See? It's lines like so. Now, continue twiddling. I'm screwing through. Mm, almost. Okay, now find your washer. Where's my washer? There you go. See, now grab your nut, put it on top. See, almost. It will run a little bit, so I use a screwdriver or find a, um, what's that, a socket, and it will hold it in place. I usually I can do like this and get away with it. I can hold it like this, and then screw. It. See, and it will start sticking out barely. And that's pretty much it. Oops. And 
Jackpot. I don't think you I sh you don't have to bury that deep. Maybe half of this would do too. The baby flush. So this is more hidden down there. And um, the reason I went with the nut idea, like Doug, is that that way, in case you ever pull it off your car, you don't have to worry about the screw. I see some people that screw it down one way. It, it should hold, but just in case they better slip, this one will guarantee that um, these, these two will not be separated. I did not use the um, Loctite with the thread. I don't think it's necessary, but you can. That's it. Just want to quickly show you guys this. I'll put all the link of the all the parts where you can pick up at your local hardware store. I got this at Home Depot for $1.18. $1.18 is the, um, an inch and a quarter. They come with it, uh, the bolt and thread. And this bolt and nut. You can buy a bag. <laughs> A cheap bag of hockey puck or buy them, buy them used and then this is like for seven dollars i think on amazon and i'll put a link in my uh in my description all right. all right hope you guys enjoy this video and as always uh i appreciate if you use my uh affiliate link thanks oh before i go uh, i want to mention that it is always good i believe good to have it in your car so when you need it you have it Rather than you be have a tire issue, then you don't ha you don't have these on hand. So I hope I don't have ever have to use it. But you know, uh, it's good to have. All right, you guys want to see this in action, right? Well, not really in action, but just for where it goes. From the rear door, like maybe where the curves start going up, I see the, the jack point be around there, and toward the front of the car, where the door come in a little bit, that'd be another jack point. So, I'm gonna try to do this one hand, guys. Let me see if I can put my camera underneath so you can see the. Uh... Oh, here you go. See it? Here's a jack point, huh? This is my first time here, so. It'll go, like, it'll go in like this. Hold on. It's kinda hard to do this. Should I put it in the tripod? It's a very snug fit. First time. Got a car jacket up right there. And then come out. Could be dirty too. Who knows what's under there. Um, maybe I, I should look in. Let me see if you can see it in the hole. Hmm, maybe it's dirty. But yeah. There's a check pad. This is how it looks. I tried to squeeze it up a little bit, but I think this is as tight. Maybe I need the jack to really compress it in. But yeah, just one quick look. Just don't forget to take it out when you finish doing your car service. Hmm. Also, I think um, by having it a little deeper recess like this, is so when the jack pressed against your car, you don't have to worry about these um, nut and bolt being crushed. Uh, yeah. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy that video.